In this video, we will cover the cloud pricing feature from Live Optics. In the previous virtual tab overview video, we looked into a Live Optics project that contains 45 hypervisors hosting 1,931 guest virtual machines. We will use this project again, but we will focus on the cloud pricing tab. The cloud pricing tab is the fourth tab in the Live Optics Optical Prime dashboard. It is used to help end users obtain costing for VMs in their environment in the public cloud. The Live Optics Cloud Pricing uses the native vendor APIs to retrieve hosting cost estimates for physical machines or guest VMs in the project with the following assumptions. VMs are running 24 7 for the whole month. The currency used is in US dollars. Pricing includes the base license price for the OS. Here are some additional fixed factors that Live Optics uses while pricing nodes. Pricing is based on SSD storage option. Burstable instances are excluded from the pricing model. Pricing is for shared tenancy. If you need more information on cloud pricing, you may refer to the following support article for more details. Select a region from the drop-down box. In this demo, we will select Asia Pacific, Singapore. Once selected, click on Get Latest Pricing. Live Optics will now pull the latest pricing from the various public clouds. From the VM Cloud pricing results, you'll be able to view pricing from AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. Each vertical line here represents a virtual machine and is sorted with the most expensive VM on the left. The horizontal black line illustrates the average price per VM. Hovering your mouse over one of the bars will provide information on the VM name, size, and estimated cost. Scrolling further down, we'll see the total cost of hosting these virtual machines in the public cloud. This is the monthly cost at a one-year commitment pricing discount for each of the public clouds. Please note that pricing does not include any discounts that the public cloud provider may offer, and pricing is for hosting cost only and does not include network costs such as ingress or egress. On the right side, you'll see the average virtual machine size and the cost for hosting this VM in the respective public cloud provider. If you scroll back up, you'll see the Download Excel button. This Excel report contains real-time pricing for on-demand, one-year, and three-year, with more details per configuration. You may also notice information on the chosen region and the date on when pricing was obtained. Let's open up the Excel report. There are multiple tabs available in the Excel report which include details on the hypervisors, server disks, cluster disks, virtual machines, and applications. Details on cloud pricing and cloud pricing peak usage are provided in these two tabs. Before we dive into the pricing tabs, let's review the over-provisioning graph from the Optical Prime dashboard. As discussed in the virtual tab overview video, these vertical bars represent each of the guest VMs, with the blue area indicating provisioned resources, and the brown bar indicating the peak usage for the selected metric, in this case, peak vCPU. Let's take a look at the VM with the most provisioned resources. This is guest VM 1099 with 64 provisioned vCPUs, but has only utilized 1.52 vCPUs at peak. Going back to the Excel report, we can locate guest VM 1099 and see the provisioned vCPUs. Scrolling to the right, we'll find the pricing columns for on-demand price, one-year pricing, and three years price on AWS. Note that scrolling further to the right will show pricing for Azure and Google Cloud. The pricing costs indicated here are based on the guest VM provisioned resources. You can see the matched AWS instance from this column. Some instances may not have an exact match. In those cases, the nearest larger configuration will be chosen. Let's look at the same guest VM from the Cloud Pricing Peak Usage tab. Here you'll see the same columns for on-demand, one-year, and three-year pricing, but you'll notice a huge drop in price since this is calculated from peak usage. Live Optics was able to provide these pricing details because Optical Prime was used to scan an existing on-prem environment. If you would like to see cloud pricing estimates but do not have Live Optics data, you can use the Live Optics Cloud Pricing Calculator. Simply visit Live Optics at liveoptics.com. Scroll down and you'll see the Cloud Pricing Calculator. Click on Start Now. The Cloud Pricing Calculator allows users to retrieve pricing information from AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud, given the quantity and size of the virtual machines. For the region, we'll select Asia Pacific, Singapore, which is the same as what we selected in the Live Optics project. 
let's give this scenario a name. We'll just choose Windows for the OS type for now, and specify an estimated number for the VM quantity. Let's use the average virtual machine size which is 4 vCPUs, 25 GB of memory, and 355 GB of storage. Click Add to include this in the list of VMs below. You can continue to add more VMs with a different OS type or configuration, but for this demo, we'll just use this. Click on Get Pricing Comparison. This will provide a comparison graph of the monthly public cloud pricing estimates. You can also download an Excel report to see pricing details. The resulting Excel report will be similar to the Excel report from Optical Prime and will also include pricing for on-demand, one year, and three years for AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. Using the Cloud Pricing Calculator provides you with a quick public cloud pricing estimate, but if you would like to consider actual workload requirements, we highly encourage you to use Live Optics Optical Prime to capture a detailed view of the existing environment. We hope that this has helped you understand how you can use these tools to evaluate and compare the cost of hosting workloads on-prem or on the public cloud. Thank you for using Live Optics.